The big step forward that uh, the CFI represents is that uh, we'll be able to look in, in more detail at uh, the biomolecules which are important for understanding disease. And one of the diseases that, that my group works on in particular is, is Parkinson's disease. And with a colleague at the Montreal Neurological Institute, we've recently worked on the structure of a protein involved in, in, in uh, genetic form of Parkinson's disease. And by understanding what this protein looks like and how it functions, uh, we hope to understand uh, neurodegenerative diseases in general. And I can show you what a protein crystal looks like uh, on this little microscope here. Those are actually protein crystals, and in a second I'll go show you where we put those onto the detector in order to determine the three-dimensional structure, the shape of the protein. This is one of the instruments that, that uh, uh, we're going to be buying. We'll be buying a second one with a little bit more modern uh, detectors, and uh, it's for X-ray crystallography. Uh, and uh, the protein crystals, which I, I, I just showed you, are are uh, really incredibly small and we pick them up with a little loop like that using the microscope and then they fit in front of this x-ray source and the x-rays come through there and if the crystal is uh, uh, a good crystal it will diffract and we'll get uh, detect spots from the x-rays uh, there and by then reversing the sort of mathematically we can uh, get a picture of the, of the protein that's in the crystal. Another example uh, are infectious diseases, and I have colleagues that, uh, that are looking at uh, how uh, bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. A little bit like the fiscal cliff, uh, we're running out of options as more and more antibiotics uh, are ineffective. And the, the, the solution is to better understand how the bacteria are, are resistant and by looking at the three-dimensional structures of the molecules in the bacteria, we can design new antibiotics uh, and sort of generate to the fourth and fifth generation antibiotics. This is the robotics for making protein crystals, and we're uh, setting up a facility so that researchers in Quebec uh, will have a, a place where they can go, and they don't have to be specialists in structural biology in order to uh, take advantage of this equipment. We're very happy about the application. It's not just myself or just a few other researchers. Uh, in fact, there are, there are close to 20 different research groups uh, who are going to benefit uh, and whose research will be uh, enabled uh, by this uh, CFI um, funding.